Welcome back to Let's Cash More Mash. My name's Tom. And I'm Mike. And today, another episode of Reget or Regret. It's been a while since we did one of these. <laughs> it looks like it might be a while before we do another one, so no. I don't see many in the background. Well, stand by. i got a couple on deck anyway. So <laughs> we're going to jump right into it. Regatta Regret is basically we go through a handful of recently uh, emptied bottles that we have, and we just talk about whether we liked it, we didn't like it, whether we would buy it again, whether we thought it was worth it. So we're going to jump right into it because we have a bunch of them over here. So we're going to start with this one since the label's coming off. This one's ready to go. Mm-hmm. So, And I'm going to do my best, Jimmy. I'm going to show you the bottle so you so because we manhandle these bottles too much during this, he said. So this one is a giant straight bourbon whiskey. It's 95 proof. We got it for $34.99. This one came out of the great state of Texas. Uh, this was okay, but it was definitely, I mean, it wins on a bottle design. I, I was, was going to go with that, yeah. Yeah, but it, it I mean, you got to like that fresh baked bread flavor. It's That's pretty, all it was. It's pretty heavy duty there. It was. 40 bucks. It's different. The bottle definitely would be a neat infinity type deal. Yeah. It's, it looks good. It looks great on your shelf. Yeah. It's not outrageous. 35. If you're going by, I'd say give it a try. It looks but. pretty on the shelf, but they're not easy to pour when you have them long nope, necks. It, the well, that, and it's heavy, bottom heavy, and it goes, yeah. doop, kadoop, kadoop. Right. But, yeah. So... All right, we'll go right on to the second one. This is a waste of your money. Don't get it. So uh, this, no, I shouldn't say that. That's mean. So this is Traveler's Whiskey, uh, blend number 40. Uh, we got it for $32.99. It, it is a beep, beep, beep. I don't even know what it was. It was like 90 proof. Or, yep, 90 proof. Um, I mean, the bit most disappointing thing about this is it says it's Buffalo Trace. It doesn't taste anything like Buffalo Trace. And, and quite frankly, for $32.99, I, I, it, it is one I do regret buying. I bought it strictly for the channel, and I already had seen enough reviews saying that it wasn't going to be good. But I went in with an open mind, and I hope for the best because, you know, we've had – I would buy any benchmark. I'd buy everything by Buffalo Trace over that because I don't even think it's Buffalo it's, Trace. I could say it sells. People actually come in and look for this. I don't know I, where you shot, but I don't know anyone who actually bought it and actually would rebuy it again. I don't think anyone liked it. They, well, people that don't watch any YouTube or whatever, they heard, heard it. It mm. was on a whole internet thing. It does sell. Yeah. I, I, I'm with you 100%. Yeah. Would I get it again? I, I look at it and laugh because I'm like, no, I would not. No. I would go get three fighting cock and be the, yep. twice as happy. Yeah. Yeah, not for me. Speak of one that I would get instead of that one if they only shipped it to Massachusetts. <laughs> well, I'm going to go with Virgin Bourbon. Uh, this is 101 proof. We got it for $17.97. And honestly, this is another example. I mean, it it I believe we put it up against like the Fighting Cock and them. And, and, and it did end up losing to them, but it's half price of Wild Turkey. You know what I mean? Like no, this is a solid drinker at 101 proof. I mean, it's not going to be the best thing you ever drank. But at $17.91, you shouldn't think you're getting the best thing no, you ever drank. No, but, but even... Yeah. But it would make a great mixer, you know. So if yeah. you got people coming over yeah. and they spill it and they dump it or they they overpour, who cares? It you didn't spend fifty, sixty, seventy dollars, and they're not it, wrecking your friggin' stag. Right? They're not doing right. it. Well, so. but, and it still has enough flavor where it, you can it drink it plain. It's right. not. It's it, by itself. It was very good when yeah. you put it up against some of the little bit better ones. They were a little. They weren't as edgy. But it's again a solid whiskey that I would buy for the money. Yeah, I'd have it on my shelf all the time if they okay. sold it in mass. Yeah, but they we would. Right. So, both of us would. Right. So, this one right here came out of uh, New York. This is called the, the Field and Sound Whiskey. I kept saying Field and Stream when we did it. It's a bottle and bond, so it's 100 proof. We got it for $39.99. And to be honest with you, at that price, sometimes I say, oh, I would rather, I'd rather. This is one of the ones, like, you have to like that fresh baked bread, but it wasn't, it was like a caramel coated fresh baked bread. This one, to me, I actually enjoyed. Like, it, it brought enough other flavor than just the fresh baked bread. It, it, yeah, wasn't overbearing yeah it was and bottle design isn't bad it's it's it, it, if you're cruising through it you can support the little guys this is not a bad this no, is not it, a bad option i actually i actually enjoyed that one they, that, that, that was one of the ones like it's because it gave it gave a complexity and a, it was totally different than a lot of the I, other I standard bourbons over there so uh here's another another good one that i actually enjoyed way too much because it, it's all gone now so this one is P- penelope cash or barrel strength bourbon uh, comes in at 115.8 proof. We got it for $62.99. And again, 
you know, with the prices going crazy as they are, I mean, this is super solid. I do like their toasted a little bit better when we put it in a blind, but this did very well in a couple blinds it we did. put this in also. So. I, and I, I would spend the extra money and, and go with a, a barrel pick or a strip, a barrel pick or or the architects or something because the lower proof one is fair. No, oh, granted, but, fair but I mean, the, 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 the architect's only 104 proof. If you're looking for the cash strength, though, no. that one of the toasted ones, they're, they're a little higher proof, or the or the nine year was actually spectacular, too, that they came. Actually, I, I just you, step it up. Yeah. There's go go with one with a little more proof. If you don't like it, add, add ice, add water, add drops, but. Because it's well worth the money versus yes, that white the, one the, was the rough. it was that that was a no go for me. Yeah, that white one was rough. And the next bottle is Angel's Envy. This is not our first bottle of this. Uh, this one's finished in a port wine because it always is. We got it for forty three dollars and ninety nine cents, which for that is a, this is actually a pretty good deal on this one because it's usually a, a, more than that. Love the, the bottle design. I I do like these. You've said in the past I don't like them. I do like them, but at that price I don't mind the price because that's actually a decent price because they usually find them up in the sixties hey, and what's stuff. What's the proof? I don't know. Let me see. It is eighty six point six proof. Mm. But again, I personally, I like John J. Bowman. If I'm going to go into that route, I think it carries a little more flavor and stuff. I mean, but this is solid for what it is. Yeah, and uh, I don't, I don't mind this one. And yeah, the bottle does always win on the water because I do like the look in the back and everything. So yeah. it's, it's, it's it, that was a decent price. No, it was, I, it was a decent price for it. So we do, we have gotten a couple others. So. Yep. So speaking of decent prices. This is Weller Special Reserve. Uh, we got this for $34. Again, you find this, it, this is only 90 proof also. You find these mocked up, uh, you know, crazy in some stores and if stuff like that. If you find them. If you find them. This right. year, even last last year, yeah. really, Weller has been off the market. In this and, and it, when it does come, the only reason it still is because they're charging like $100 for this or, $25. Or you get model. lucky, it's, mm -hmm. it's a barrel pick and they treat you all right. Depending on the you certain know, it, stores, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, right. I've yet to see. Oh, this is good too. Yet to see. If if you do see it and it's within within yeah. reason, I definitely because in theory up. it's a twenty five dollar bottle. So at thirty four, that's go, not. I probably outrageous. wouldn't go more than fifty. No, no, no. It is very good. It is but. very good. Fifty probably even max. So speaking of very good. Uh, this one right here is Old Forester 1870. This is also a 90 proof, but we got it for $42.99. And I, I've had this one on the shelf for a while. It finally got knocked down because of the, uh, you know, it, it went up against enough things and blinds and stuff like that. But, uh, I mean, this is solid for the 90. It, for those that like a lower proof as opposed to some of the other Whiskey Row ones, you know what I mean? Again, could you get the 86 for a quarter of the price? Absolutely. But this carries just a little bit more flavor and taste and a little and more age, too. But it, and again, it's, it's a pretty big price jump. I mean, you could you could be pretty content with the 86 mm -hmm. and, and save yourself 10 bucks or, or price. Or, or better. if you want the 100 proof for $25, well, that, you can get that also. <laughs> but we had got that because I wanted all of the whiskey no, roll and it, I wanted to put them up against each other is, and stuff. So I, it's it's... Old Forest is still very enjoyable. It, yeah, it's a little yeah. pricier than, yeah. than some of the others, but it, it's worth it. Speaking of a little pricey but very enjoyable, this one right here is the Old Elk Sherry Cast Finish. Uh, this comes in at 109.7 proof, if I'm reading that correctly. Uh, this was $85. Uh, this was originally Steve's bottle, actually, and uh, I I'll tell you what, this thing is an absolute flavor bomb. And back when we we thought eighty five dollars was a lot of money, and compared to a lot now, it, it it's it's you know it's in range with a lot of different it, things. It is in range. But I will tell you, we put this up against like the Rabbit Hole Derringer that we thought was like top of the line when we got yeah, it. That's and still this pricey. Absolutely smashed it. You know what I mean? Like so, I mean, it is pricey, but. This actually delivers. There is a ton of flavor and taste. not in the cheap category. Oh no, it's not. It's so not. it's pretty co compatible to price wise. So but, yeah, and this and the bottle wins out here. Right, taste wise, I think that absolutely dominates this it. Make an nice infinity bottle. Yeah, there's a lot of them that are pretty good. So <laughs> I saved the best for last because every time I thought I was picking it in a blind, it was never this bottle. But this one right here is Jack Daniel's uh, single barrel barrel proof. This one comes in at 128.4. Uh, proof. Uh, this was actually a super generous donation. Thank you, Danny Dodd, for Thank this you, one. Man. He had sent this in because we weren't able to get it. It is finally here in Massachusetts. Uh, the rye still hasn't made it here. I'm yeah. still looking for the single barrel barrel proof rye, but they uh, we have one only because we got it out of a different state. But it still hasn't made it to the shelves here in Mass. But these are here, and they're regularly around sixty five dollars now that you can get it. This is absolutely delicious, though, uh, and, and a great price. Yep, for the, yeah, so it's it's right there. For the proof. And, and well, and this one's your favorite. My store pick, Old Forester, is probably my favorite. But it's still 
Very good. Old Forest the store pick is my favorite too because it's one twice in a blind. Now. I mean, these, these are absolutely delicious. They they really are. But it, it, it's head to head, money. Old Forest has beat it every time. So well, there you go. Once again, you can leave a comment down below whether you agree, disagree. Uh, I want to make sure I, I didn't have one little bottle hi hiding around. So uh, that is our regret or regret. We really don't. There's no regret. Regret. Well, other than travelers, I would never buy that one again. But this uh, was actually a pretty good one today. So, I, but we will if someone says, "Can you put it up against this?" That I won't. <laughs> I won't buy that one again. That, that that one. That one's one of the few that actually made me mad. But there you go. That's it. Regret or regret. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Spend less. Drink more. Cheers. Cheers.